we kick the War 3 Champions Season 6 Global Grand Finals off with the Emperor facing the youngest talent in the entire Warcraft 3 scene. It is Happy from Russia versus 15 Sway from China. The first interregional battle on the servers and man. And Am I hyped for this? 15 Sway decides to play a Night Elf this series. So can the Chinese conquer the West or will the Emperor still reign? That's the question here in the very first match, in the very first best of three. Let's get it on. Here we go. This is it. This is uh, this is like our little holiday, I feel like mm. in the Warcraft scene. This tournament, everyone coming together. And it fits so perfectly that we now also have multiple regions, no longer only Europe. I suppose mostly European viewership and players, but also from across the world. And the support is coming in heavy. Tartaric Acid with a big 33-33 donation says, I really looking forward uh, to these three days, these three tournaments. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely epic. And thanks also Hearthstone FR with a seven month resub. Best of three, guys, here, remember, the first round, the quarterfinals, best of three. Moving on from there, semis and grand final, best of five. Please and 15 Sway, attack. of course, playing with a bit of a ping disadvantage, but we're trying to make it as fair as possible. I have a, I have a question for you, Rima. Do you think players like 15 Sway have been watching the Happy uh, Foggy series and are aware of this these couple of styles that Foggy's had success with recently? Or do you think we're going to see something a little bit different from, from 15 Sway? Um, I don't know if you specifically watched those series too much, although it would be great game tape to study. But what certainly has been uh, visible is that the Foggy style has reached Asia. I don't right. know through whom exactly, or if it was precisely Foggy who came up with it. But the Keeper Demon Dryad expansion, that seems to be the best strategy that Night Elf has nowadays. We've seen a bit of experimentation with a panda as well here and there, with some triple hero maybe, with some hippogriffs sometimes. But the most standard and most often seen is the Keeper Demon Dryad Expo, which seems to be the best uh, thing to do. Whereas on the other side nowadays, we have ghoul builds for the most part, starting off with creeping first usually. But here on LR, you can also play aggressively against the keeper because him reaching level two is very hard. And that's what we see here from Happy. Kind of unusual that he doesn't go for creeping first, but as I said, on this map, understandable. And what Happy is doing is an early backpack upgrade. So he can start creeping with ghouls later and then bring over the items that he finds from the camps. Yeah, you guys go ahead and cast. I'm gonna do everything else. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. And we do have a coil. The first one being used, of course, to get the mana regen started. That archer ensnared, but Happy has not picked up dust, so once it is nighttime, she shall be safe. And she shall not pass the threshold of her base. Probably going to go back to the Moonwells. One more treant going to fall, but it goes down to the creeps. And Happy, decent harassment so far. Wait to see possibly an expansion come up eventually but that deathland has to be bullied off first and we see split ghoul creeping from happy he's been doing this more and more recently i feel like Rima. yeah and here the backpack is going to come into play you can ferry that over soon the hope is that the dk steals enough experience here with coil so he's going to reach level two after the first green camp but i think 15 sway is playing around it pretty nicely he wasn't too eager to start the green camp right away. That would have been a mistake. If he did that with only two Treants and one Archer, then the DK could steal last hits way too easily. Although here I would say Happy has uh, not even been trying too hard to get these last hits. It feels like he's just trying to scout, keep the Keeper in the south, and retain health on the DK while he's relying more on the Ghouls to give him experience, who are going over to the next green camp and now. And 15 Sway is going to be satisfied just creeping up. Of course, a fast level 3 Keeper. We all know how strong it can be. And we see the expansion coming on the way to Tier 2. If we now see a Hunter's Hall coming up next, then this is exactly what we're expecting. And indeed, that's what we see. Yep, seems to be the Keeper Demon Dryad style with that expansion. Now the challenge is always to keep this expansion safe. But of course, he scouted oh, the Ghouls and he saw the Death Knight run away. And now he's using Illusions to do so again. So he's definitely going to be able to keep the expansion safe, for now at least. The expansion will give 15 Sway level 3 if he's able to secure, and it seems as though Happy's going to give him the opportunity to do so. The question for Happy now is, what's he going to go for at Tier 2? He's gone for counter expansions against us before, or he's of course gone for this Tier 3 Tinker 3rd all-in kind of style. So we'll have to see what Happy wants to go for. He's going for the expansion cancel with two skeletons. And actually, no Wisps nearby, so a slight mistake, but I don't think it'll cost the expansion. 
certainly a lot of health though, and the creeps are going buck wild, Rimadima. Yeah, classic last refuge early game, Wand of Illusion on this map, absolutely crazy. If this tree is cancelled, it's a disaster, and I also have to wonder where are those wisps for detonate? Oh my god, he's actually coiling the skeleton to kill off the tree, that might be enough, the entangle perhaps not enough damage. Huge mistake by 15 Sway, not bringing the wisp where he needs to, but actually, the tree does survive. And what was that, like 80 HP or something? That was very stressful, but the expansion comes up. Was also a lot of time for the ghouls to freely creep up, the DK now almost level 3. And yeah, you mentioned the counter expansion. Happy has been experimenting with that a lot over the last couple of months. Tier 2 Expo usually didn't work out too well, at least when he was playing against Foggy. He was never a big fan of Tier 1 expansion. He much rather tried with a faster tech instead. So the last couple of weeks, he's been playing mostly Tier 3 counter expos, which of course is going to get you the tech fastest, but can also be a problem if the expansion is too late. But with how delayed this Night of Expo is, it might be fine. And oh my Happy God, knows no. the tree's low. And he's going in for it with the ghouls, and there was still no wisp repair. And this one is definitely gone, I would think. What a mistake. Yeah, where are the wisps? They could be on the tree. Oh, is he going to be able to save it? Maybe, just maybe, one wisp comes in for the repair. Oh, my God. Oh, my dear Lord. He didn't even need the wisps all along, apparently. 15 Sway knows best, and um, wow. Okay, he saves the tree somehow. It, it seems like it should have almost died to that damage, but um, a nice try from Happy. I, I got to say, I think that was the right play but just barely not having enough health on his Death Knight to make it out of there. Yeah, I think if he had min-maxed a little harder, he might have been able to get it. He TP'd out with 100 HP on the DK. He could have easily dropped down to like 30, got in one more swing, maybe two mm -hmm. more swings. That might have been enough, but he wanted to play it safe, perhaps miscalculating, but he still did buy a lot of time. That TP, you know, I feel like most of the games, you do want to use it at some point. You don't want right. to waste the TP by never using it and getting no value out of it. What's now the most important for 15 Sways being able to creep up his Demon Hunter? But he's not doing that at all. He's trying to hunt with the Keeper 3, trying to kill some units, but Happy wisely only taking out the heroes. No units, so nothing to kill here. Yeah, I gotta say this, this level 1 Demon Hunter aggression is a little bit unorthodox. The Ancient War is in position for 15 Sway to go for his Mercenary camp. His drives are coming out now as well, but... Seems like a lot of wasted time with the archers and the demon hunter when the keeper could have been doing that job by himself. Especially, you know, knowing that, that Happy's not really going to be pulling many units out of his base until he has a destroyer farm, short of the statues at this point. But now look, th there's going to be a creep jack coming in, there's going to be coil level 2 and Nova. I see 2, 3, 4 archers potentially going down here, and a level 1 demon hunter for quite a while as well potentially. Yeah, there should be at least 2 kills here going Happy's way. If he takes out the AOW, it would be even more painful. And that's a mistake by 15 Sway, that move across the map, it doesn't look like a big error, but that waste of time is not what you want to have happen. The Keeper wants to keep track of the enemy heroes, the Demon wants to creep up as fast as he can, because the tier 3 timing is quickly approaching. Second statue is out, Frenzy will be coming in soon, as long with, along with Destroyer Upgrade. And if you don't have level 2 burn by that point, you're going to have a super tough time, and Happy's probably going to throw in the Tinker and go for the big push. As the dust settles, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, the community is going absolutely crazy on the prize pool. We already cracked $4,100. Thanks to Side, less than three war three champions. Stein with $25, Krill with $5, MSGTU $25, Watts FDB $50, Ich Trottel $20. Thanks for the great content. Love this game. It has been part of my youth. Best start for the weekend. Get Rich Brothers $100. Love the work War 3 Champions has done. Huge thanks to Back to War. Warcraft 4 casting and to the players for this global extravaganza. 10 euros by Shaq, Nova Gold 10 euros, Zara Barco 20 dollars and Disproved by Hell with a 5 dollar contribution. You guys are amazing. Let's crack this 5k. Jesus. Off to a hot start boys. You're doing it uh, absolutely wonderfully. Hopefully we can keep this up. Just like Happy is going to go for the big push now. He's at the tavern. Would go for a tinker if he had the money, but he doesn't have the gold. He's making a 6 acolyte. So he's going to apply heavy pressure here, but wants to have the option of a counter expo. There should be a wisp in position to scout for this, but first the ghoul are going to say hello to the expansion. Importantly, there is nature's blessing, otherwise these buildings would go down quick. But 15 Sway has to come in for the defense. He did get level 3 on the demon, just barely in time, and has wonderful items to beef up his second hero. 
Oh, Coil Nova on the Keeper. That's a lot of damage. There is a Potion of Heal used already. And there's a Heal Scroll in Vault and Rune Braces on the Demon Hunter who did manage to hit level 3. Two Dryads falling. A couple of Ghouls are potentially going to fall, but really you want to lose those at this point just to trade for a couple of Dryads. The Keeper has to be safe. Has a Town Portal, has stabs all over the place. The Demon Hunter is doing his job tanking and Tangle going to secure one more Ghoul kill. You got to be careful with that Keeper, but Heal Scroll used as well, trying to catch reinforcements out. 15 Sway has to buy time, but there is a counter expansion coming up for Happy. The Acolyte was actually killed earlier, so I believe 15 Sway is aware that Happy wants to go for a counter expansion. He doesn't quite see it with a Wisp yet, but it wouldn't be too weird to expect, especially not seeing a Tinker should be sort of suspicious. Mm -hmm. 15 Sway must be wondering where are those resources going. Of course, we know the exact expansion is exactly where. First trade was wonderful for Happy, and the question is, can 15 Sway even afford to cancel the expansion if he saw it right now? He's under so much pressure at his own expo, that it seems he has to remain here, and the worst case scenario, of course, would be that he can't even hold this expansion. Oh my god, we have nine Dryads queued up right now for 15 Sway. He would love to have that many Dryads on top of this army. That would make a whole control group, but... He doesn't quite have them yet, he's got to buy more time. All the ghouls are starting to fall, which is the start of holding this expansion. Of course, the ghouls are great at tearing down these trees if you can take care of them. There goes down another one. Happy still has a fighting force, though, and no tinker third. So his Lich is going to get level 3 soon, and that nuke on the Keeper is going to get even stronger than we saw it be previously. Tree life is 50% health, Remo. I don't know, can he hold it? Does he have enough units? He's got 5 Dryads, now he's going to have 7 soon. Can he hold it? Man, those Dryads, had he gotten those earlier, this would have looked a lot different. Did he have the time? Dryads, of course, pretty cheap in gold. Maybe he should have gone into upkeep sooner. Always woulda, coulda, shoulda. But now, seems like 15 Sway finally takes a good fight. Takes out one Fiend right away. The Dryads on top of the Fiends now. That, of course, means also Dryads can die quickly. And they don't have upgrades. That's one of my favorite pet peeves to point out. Dryads without upgrades die incredibly fast. And that, I think, is the first big macro mistake of 15 Sway this game. Without those upgrades, we can see how quickly they fall. Fiends also, though, being taken out quickly. One after the next. Lich still not level three. Demon Hunter, three and a half. Gets to the shop, but now double level ups for Happy. That's a big one. Level four DK and three on the Lich. Yeah, the statues are still working away. One of them is dry on mana now. Would love to see the other statues switch to mana once that one's out. The dryads are coming, continuing to come out, and the Tree of Life was healed up in the meantime. The expansion was scouted in the Ancient Protector coming up. The expansion not yet saturated for Happy. There's ghouls coming across to cancel that Ancient Protector though, so well dealt with by Happy. The Dryads from the left and from the top, are they going to be able to hold this expansion once and for all for 15 Sway? He's going to kill maybe a third fiend. This is actually starting to turn into a decent force and the micro is not too bad either. Still no upgrades, but there's not a lot of units left for Happy. He really has his strong heroes though, and that might be all he needs, honestly. Yeah, I wonder, shouldn't 15 Sway be going for the hero focus here? He could force mm. the invul on the Lich pretty early. There's no coils anymore. But I guess he wants to take out those fiends first, and that has been successful. That, of course, also bolsters his own Dryads. The single A-bomb here in the mix, not that impactful yet without the disease, but Happy still able to find some kills. Now he's going for the Lich. Now he sees the opening. Frost Armor getting dispelled, perhaps a tad late, but Happy, of course, for him, it's all about delaying until the Expo is standing with the tower and that's going to be accomplished soon. Right. Mana Burn finally being used on that statue. Would have liked to see that a little bit earlier, too. There's almost a coil 20 mana off, but I think it's going to be the Invuln, at least for now. And then Happy's probably going to have to run. Okay, he does use the Invuln. He's got that level 2 aura, of course, so he can run away, but it seems as though we're going to have a 2 base, 2 base game. It's oh, need... hold, though. He didn't burn the DK before, that was a big Ooh. mistake. I like what you point out there with the mana burns. They are not on point. They should be way more on the statues and on the DK right there. So of course, not always easy to do perfectly, especially when you don't, ha don't have boots. The Demon, Demon Hunter though! Oh my goodness. I was like, where is this freaking staff? There it is, last second, as the Night Elves love to do. Keeper low HP has to be careful as well. Falls back to the shop. Potions there might in fact be out of stock, but now Happy is sitting on two base and he could fall back and just play this passively from here if he wished. Yeah, there's been eight dryads in the queue. Now there's seven for a very long time. I wonder if generally I would like to see the Night Elf hold before they tack, but with there being so many dryads, dryads queued up this entire time, I feel like 15 Sway maybe could have tacked already and gone into that double orb with potentially, we see bare hippogriff sometimes, a transition, but at least 
getting into that that wellspring, at least getting into that orb a little bit earlier. Now we're going to see it, which, uh, you know, on paper is the right call after you hold, you should tech tier 3. But he's had so much surplus gold and lumber with these queued up drives for such a long time, but still. 66 against 53, no small force for the Night Elf. Happy he rebought a TP to get back to his expansion or main. They're gonna use it right now to go for that keeper. Heavy nuke on the Night Elf first hero is gonna have to TP out. Another Dryad is gonna go down. Fiend was actually denied there somehow. Happy not having Borrow this whole time hurts him, but Lumber has been an issue for him. Only two ghouls survived the attack, so Lumber income here pretty low. Very important, by the way, earlier a ghoul survived with like 5 HP. If that one had died and he had only had one, it would have been a real disaster. But two ghouls so far being enough for him. Chop at the expansion. Potions are going to greatly power up these undead heroes. Items for Happy, not the greatest. Survivability is not exactly what he needs. And funny thing about that ghoul, he might have not been able to cancel that ancient protector that was at his expansion, True. Happy, if he didn't have that second ghoul too. So probably a bigger deal than even just the lumber issues but they may come back because of course he's gonna probably need a third one eventually on two base look how many dryads there are and there is heal wards now from that lab that's an incredibly strong item oh my god to use that out of the fights that's so good especially when disease cloud kicks in which it is now researched but the nuke is getting very strong on the side of happy I would love to see Happy add in a bomb, uh, excuse me, meat wagons here soon to spread the disease even more effectively. Big dried army. Still not the most upgrade. Some have been queued. Demon Hunter in trouble, getting nuked. Out of range of the staff at the moment. It's a little stressful. Keeper has to get there, has to save his friend. It's only the small invul potion. He'll go first, though. The demon stays in a little bit longer. Here we see the staff now. Dryad's going deep for these kills, which means they're getting focused heavily by these fiends, and they still don't have armor upgrades, and they're running into so much disease. Oh, Happy's micro has been beautiful. He's really only losing the things that he absolutely cannot save, like that fiend, but it's to die at the last second. The destroyer was falling earlier, but there's another one up in the air gonna try and save that second fiend. No coils, though. This seems sway again. <laughs> seems to be trading favorably. Only the Keeper was getting the experience here, which is a problem. He's not the best hero late game. The Demon Hunter needs to get this XP. He needs to get to 5 quickly if you're playing dual hero only. But he's been AFK in the main a little bit. Didn't have enough healing there. Demon uh, Keeper's gonna have to TP out. Look at the gold. Losing one more Dryad. Oh, the macro, I gotta say, has not been perfect. The micro has been decent for 15 Sway. You're not expected to, always, to not lose a lot of Dryads every time, but he's been getting kills. He's been saving some Dryads. But the macro's been slipping. He doesn't have a shredder, his lumber's short. He's now going into bears, but he's always got either seven things queued up or a 1500 gold bank. But the tier three's gonna kick in. He's got the single orb. Could use, uh, did he use those heal wards already? It seems like he, did he sell the heal wards? Uh, the one just got dispelled. I guess all charges are gone. No more heal okay. wards for him. Happy now with the biggest army he's had this game at 63 supply and a very strong force. With Fiends, A-Bomb, Statues, Destroyers, Nuke on the Demon again, Keeper, excuse me, but he does survive, but the Dryads are just a joke at this point. Yeah. Late game Dryads, not good enough, especially with these upgrades. These upgrades should have started way sooner. At this point in the game, the Knight needs to be at 2-2 two, two upgrades, maybe 3-2 mm -hmm. upgrades. 1-1 one, one is not gonna cut it. And I think you hit the nail on the head there earlier. It's the macro that's the problem. So many resources missing for such a long time, perhaps also the creep route. Not the best before the push. Ideally, you want to creep the lab, get the Shredder, and then pump out. Those units, buildings, upgrades, everything. But 15 Sway has just been a little too slow on the trigger. On the macro side, and now Happy is in full control. He's got the 5-4 heroes, soon to be 5-5 five, five heroes. And in even supply, you're not going to beat Happy. Yeah, and this really is a macro strategy. Maybe uh, focusing a little bit too much on the details with 15 Sway so, uh, so far. But he didn't look too bad. He held his expansion. He had uh, the supply advantage, and then he just sort of got happied in that fight in the middle, and now the army is just massive for Happy, who has the one zero Fiends. He's about to, you know, even hit level six Death Knight in a couple more kills. He's got the strong nuke, and I just don't see much way, especially down a base, for 15 Sway to come back. But he's gonna, okay, he's gonna GG out. No hype needed there, and uh, GG is called one zero for Happy, but a nice try, absolutely, from 15 Sway in game one. Damn, that was quite a long game. I did not expect that. Almost 20 minutes here to start things off. I think 
for the majority of the community, if you have the match on paper, Happy vs. 15 Sway, it's like the best player that we have in Europe for years against the up-and-comer young talent that should be way more sided, but 15 Sway is giving him a run for his money, and as you guys pointed out, floating so much gold can't have that against happy unfortunately but uh good ideas good execution as well for the majority but what i noticed here since when does happy deny so much that was new i didn't even see all of them dude that was like in the fight in the middle he had like four denies in just one fight hmm yeah, on level 4 with the Lich with Dark Ritual, I guess he, especially then you can start doing it pretty well. And makes sense as well. If the DK, if the, if the Demon gets to 5 quickly, that's oftentimes a problem. But it's only a problem if he's level 5 and he's got Orb of Venom. We never saw that orb, double Orb of Venom. He never got to tier 3 quickly enough. He never got the double Orb and maybe even a third hero. Yeah, macro wise, this was just a little bit off. I don't want to rain on Happy's parade, but honestly, I think from what we're used to seeing from Happy, this was a pretty weak early game for his standards mm. like at the first harass at the green he didn't steal a single creep which could be going very very differently he didn't kill too many archers he killed like two or something and the demon hunter still got level three by the time he needed it sort of at the expansion hold i would say this was happy kind of warming up to be honest i think this could look a lot stronger uh on the coming maps which uh, i'm not sure exactly actually which ones we have we will yeah, see about any maps <laughs> that so could many. be any maps, exactly. We are standing currently at $4,118, thanks wow. to a wonderful donation by B. Zönchen, who chipped in $50, making a stunning contribution to help the, uh, to help a community without profit motives. What three champions developers are my heroes that is absolutely wonderful once again thank you disproved by hell for the five dollars zera Baco for the 20 nova gold for the 10 shock for the 10 etc etc as i pointed out throughout the game we also get a couple of donations and uh supporters here for our channel where did we end up thank you pumple for the sub tataric acid 33 euros 33 cents I'm really looking forward to this three days, these three tournaments. I'm so excited. And that, of course, is a very good reason to chip in $33.33. Team Hearthstone, thank you for the sub. Uh, Kenzie, Dr. Series Raven, Sladderk, For Glory Heaven with a $10 uh, euro donation. What's up, guys? How's it going? Where's my boy Hitman? Unfortunately, busy this weekend. Just Nikos with another 10 euros. Neo Superfan, Neo number one. Nikos, you're the greatest. Uh, uh, Phil bought a hoodie. Love the stream. Had to get some swag. That's excellent. 5,500 bits by Krixa. Cheer, 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 cheer. We need a lot of cheering here indeed. Basti, 21 month. Übergold, a 13 month. Uh, Brewdog with a 10 euro donation. Good luck with the 5k. We absolutely need to crack this 5k. Todd with a sub for 39 months already. BTW Pain. And Loco Mojo with a one year resub. Hype overload. Whew. Man, that's a lot of stuff coming in already, but don't you dare stop. We need to get this uh, amount of hype throughout the entire weekend. Dude, we've done one game and I'm so hyped already and I'm realizing <laughs> only now that we have three days of this. And I'm like, oh, oh my God, this oh, is yeah. so sick. Like we're one game through and I'm like, oh, this is, the, this is like the grand finals, the hypest moment. <laughs> we're just getting started, dude. It's, uh, it's so exciting, man. It's so exciting. At the moment, we're figuring out what the second map is going to be. 15 Sway, of course, has to stick with his race. Night Elf was his choice. And uh, I think we're going to tell the admins later. It would be great if they could uh, tell us the maps as well. That would be nice to know. As yeah. we mentioned earlier, we have all the War 3 Champions ladder maps. We have 11 maps in the pool, which is quite crazy. And that is uh, last season's, of course. Not the new season, but is last season's end of season tournament. So we're playing with last season's pool, which means Twisted Meadows is still in, uh, along with many others. Tide Hunters, Terranus, Autumn Leaves, and uh, even Ruins of Ashara. What are the bets, boys? Are we going to see Ruins once? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, an interesting map. It's it's interesting. I don't know. Probably, maybe, maybe from some of the European players because I imagine they probably played it more with it not being on Netties, of course. 
Is there somewhere a best of 11 show match that we play fully? Then we might see it once, but I kind of, <laughs> kind of doubt it. Uh, this will be one of the first picks and bands, I guess. Or rather bands than picks, of course. Is the, um, is the 11th map Turtle Rock? Yeah. Oh, what's the 11th? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, I know, I know what the maps are. I have them in my head. Good, good. <laughs> Damn, you can remember Figured 11 math. That's sick. Incredible. Uh, that's 22 letters if you use shorthand. <laughs> True that. Or no, it's 20. It's 23 because Northern Isles. Oh, yeah. No, it's N-I-S. 24 because of Runes of Shara. <laughs> <laughs> 24 letters, guys. 24. That's almost as much as the alphabet. Is that a sign? We should add a 12th map to make it full. But we can add some thank yous to Krixa, who donated 82 euros, 82 cents. You seem to like the 82, man. Hopefully we get 82 maps across this tournament. Is that even enough? I hope so. Thank you very much, guys. This is amazing. Very hype, very hype. So this the is map such a good tournament, man. This is such oh, a good yeah. tournament. I love this tournament. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> uh, to say that. Our next map is Amazonia. And we've seen Happy Fall here, but also coming up with good solutions, especially against Foggy. And we have another donation here towards the W3 Champions prize pool. $20 by Just Ross, 4138 Once again, guys, if you're tuning in late, if we break the 5K, then the wonderful, wonderful governor will Add two thousand five hundred dollars to the prize pool. So basically, all your donations will be matched by fifty percent. Get them in there. You're basically creating money if you spend money, right, guys? Pog champ, that's true. You guys spend money to make money, and I we're over here trying to make some money for these players. That's what we're doing here. We're grinding it out. All right, gotta get them paid. Full sellout, of course, on our <laughs> merch shop, back to Warcraft, uh, shop.backtowarcraft.com. For a limited amount of time, and that's exactly these three days, we got some uh, back to, uh, some War 3 Champions swag up for grabs. You can buy War 3 Champions shirts, hoodies, college jackets, and uh, snapbacks for only these three days. And then they're gone. You will never have the chance to get them anywhere ever. So pick it up and show your support for War 3 Champions wherever you go, wherever you are. I'll be watching you. <laughs> exactly. That would far. be creepy, though. <laughs> 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 it's a super <laughs> creepy song, by the way. Yeah, yeah it's, it really is weird. Yeah, reading out the lyrics out loud, it's, it's always uh, like, what were you thinking, Sting? What were you doing, man? <laughs> oh, man, it was the 80s, I guess, right? So wild, yeah. wild time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or maybe early '90s then. as well, which doesn't make it more, uh, more, more tame. The same thing, but in multicolored jackets instead. <laughs> True, and different drugs, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Is is it actually AZ then? Because I'm interested. Generally, when when Happy and Foggy play in a best of five, at least recently, it's been a lot of Northern Isles, of course, from from Foggy. But Amazonia has been the veto from from Happy recently, which I, I agree with. I think it's a uh, a very strong map for this Dryad uh, Keeper Demon style. So if it is Amazonia for map two, I'm a little bit surprised. Perhaps the Vetoes just didn't go Happy's way. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, a reason why we see AZ vetoed nowadays is because Terranus is no longer in the pool, right? That's, so that's uh, true. Okay. we yeah. do have that in here. So I'm pretty sure Happy vetoed Terranus and Ruins uh, and I don't know, something else. But yeah, AZ oftentimes would be the veto as well. But we don't see it here. I'm kind of sad that we don't see Twisted. Like, uh, I already mentally prepared to say goodbye. Basically, the funeral for Twisted. But this is... This might actually be the last tournament ever with Twisted Meadows, isn't it? Oh, yeah, man. You're you're right. If we get a final of, let's say, Happy versus Infi, and the last map of that best of five is Twisted, wouldn't that be the best swan song for this wonderful map? We'll have to play like Almano or something. Almano, <laughs> uh, and then we just gotta remember. There's gotta be like a like a video where it's like just flashing to different pictures of like you know WCG 2007. The Zeppelin drops the bear and Grubby last hits it just over and over again. Different things. Mountain King Tower Rush, 
you know, TH against Fly, whatever. We're going to have to do that because it's going to be a sad day. We've changed it, though. We've, we've kind of massacred our boy with Twisted Meadows. You know, we tried to fix it. We tried to make it playable. And now it's just, it isn't the same anymore. And it's not even in the standard map pool anymore. So rest in peace, Twisted Meadows. This is, uh, this is the swan song, as you say. Perhaps. All right. So... We're currently uh, talking about hosts and... Uh... Mm. Uh, the right host for the game might so happen a lot this weekend. A moment. It might it might be a common conversation, but uh, it's yeah. worthwhile. Wisely, for the players. wisely, they set up the rules before for which host is going to be used for which situation, but there seems to be disagreement at the moment. Yeah, there are um, matches where there's one possible host that has the the most fair conditions, and then there's some matches where there's gonna be alternating hosts it's not too easy but there is like a self-explanatory graphic that should work for the majority of the tournament um and all these breaks guys give you time to head over to match serino and complete these tasks you got on the right hand side unfortunately not available for me it's not available in my region for whatever reason i'm, I'm a little <laughs> bit disappointed here but <laughs> <laughs> but you can just lock into Matt Torino with your Twitch account, with your Google account, with your Twitter account, whatever, and do these quests, which is usually uh, tweet or like or whatever. And everything you do will add to the prize pool. And once again, if we reach the 5k, Governor is boosting this prize pool to 7,500 and 2,500 donation. All you have to do is to unlock it. And uh, there is a little bit of time now, apparently. Or well, are we set for the next game? Yeah, we're still having talks right now, as it okay. seems. This this host doesn't seem too bad for 15 Sway, and I, I think it's acceptable for Happy. I don't think Happy's uh, too upset with this ping that he has, so it, okay. like, it should be all right. Then we can talk a little about what W3 Champions added since the Season 5 Ooh. tournament, because that is, uh, as Remo said before, almost four months ago, at the very beginning, the first weekend of the year, and we just had a Season uh, 7 start, and with that came a big update for W3 Champions, where we introduced things like custom game ladders. You can now climb the ladder in Footman Frenzy. Remo, how great is your uh, Footman experience so far? I haven't played much, really. Uh, I played it once, and uh, I was kind of shocked at how different the current footy version is from the one that I remember. It is fun, though. It is absolute madness. It is four teams of three players running into the middle and battling furiously, uh, endlessly. And yeah, it's a, it's a very fun mode to go for. Uh, I think a lot of people have been playing it already. It's been getting streamed also. And yeah, it's only the start. And I'm waiting for Legion D. Uh, to start that and that's my that's gonna be my time to get first place in something finally dude before you get first in a tower defense i'm gonna be there man i'm gonna be there uh that's <laughs> not exactly a tower defense yeah true, like, true. Uh, you know what i'm saying i need something like green td ladder or i don't know uh Spiral TD or something. The full change log is up on Reddit. You can quickly grab it up. Uh, Reddit.com slash r slash wc3. And there's a cool Google Doc that introduces you to everything that's new. Legion TD is already announced. Line Tower Wars is already announced. Maybe, maybe that's my kind of jam there. Send a couple of units, build a couple of towers, chillax in the meantime. That's my kind of jam. And uh, we talked about Fluxu already the magician behind the flow server network that gives us all the beautiful hosts all around the world and he didn't stop when we had this network set up right he uh, kind of felt that something is still missing and of course that is a reconnect function we had that in old battle.net we do have that on netty so we need it on war three champions as well and now reconnect is working there were a couple of hiccups at the very beginning uh, it was a little stressful for everybody involved, but now it's working 60 second uh, reconnect uh, period. If you disconnect at some uh, point in the game, so that might save you quite some ladder games here. Beautiful. I'm, I'm glad that it's working again. Um, I'm glad that they're always working. Like as soon as we had any issues with it, they were like immediately if anyone's in the discord you know they're just saying well, we're trying to resolve the issue we've patched it there's a patch there's another patch 
We're, we're setting it out, and they've always been trying to work on these things because, of course, things are going to break when you're trying to build on top of a game that, you know, we're, they're not the developers for. So things break, but things got fixed within, I think, the first 24, 48 hours. And it's, uh, it's a pretty good feature, especially when we're having people from, you know, China, people from Korea, people from Southeast Asia playing these tournaments when they don't have the best of pings, when they're sometimes disconnecting, when they're sometimes using VPNs. This sort of a feature is super important to have, I feel. Absolutely. And Remo is typing like crazy. We hear typing every click. It's crazy. We also have a new donation boosting us up to $4,158. Flow87 with a $20 contribution. Much love. We also got a new sub. Thank you, Gabiru Sama, for the eight-month resub. Nice. Pog, Pog Champ, Pog Champ. Yeah, Rima Dima, his insane pace. He's typing up a storm. Two quick ones. He knows he's getting there on the perfect line, but uh, does 15 yeah. sway? No. Uh, I, I feel like uh, the, the admins are being a little too nice because it's mm. in the rules. So I just I just told him, just Put the crack the whip, down. dude. Just just Put crack the, the fucking down. whip and let's let's get on with this. Yeah. But since we're talking about custom games, uh, just two days ago, we did our mm. uh, Patreon in-house custom game thingy and we played a lot of Uther Party. And dude... I forgot how fun it's that so game good. is. It's so it's, We played it's Uther the Party, mass. we played The Weakest Link, we played some 4v4. And if you guys want to get in on that, uh, you can uh, pledge on our Patreon for Tier 4, which is Profit and Upwards, I believe that is. And we have a lot of, a lot of other awesome perks there as well. Patreon.com slash back to Warcraft. But yeah, this was so much fun that I was like... Maybe we should we should just make this a, a two times monthly thing because uh, <laughs> yes, I thought that was, I was a thinking great the thing. same dude. Yeah, it was so much fun, dude. Like I've had such a fun week now. Like we got this tournament. We me and you know me and Ricky been casting. We did the custom game day. It's been so good, man. It's been so it's so much fun. Yeah, I love I love nothing more than getting a group of people together and just being like, you guys want to play two v two, four v four, FFA, play some archery tactics, play some Uther party. It's that's what I play games for. It's not to. Although I, I did sit and grind ladder for five hours yesterday. It's not to sit there and just grind ladder with music on the whole day. It's to play together, to play as a community, which is why it's so cool we're having custom games on War 3 Champions. And that's why that custom game evening that we did um, a couple days ago was also so fun. I love it, man. That's what it's all about. It's the community. I I unfortunately missed it, but I heard only great things about it. Everybody's making me jealous. <sighs> Take one evening off and great things happen, man. It's just fuck my life at the moment. But of course, not only uh, do we have a Patreon, the wonderful people over at War 3 Champions, they also have a Patreon. That's pretty easy to find. It's patreon.com slash... W3 champions. Easy as it gets. And there you go. These people have 88 Patreons at the moment and uh, a good amount of support. But hey, it's uh, it's like 4,000 people over there and only 88 contribute. What's up there? Don't be so cheap. Don't be so lazy. Head over. There is a bronze tier support for uh, support Discord channel. The nice cheese and all of Venom portrait. And the more you support, the more portraits you get up to a custom portrait that I claimed myself and yeah pretty cool perks by them it's really good designs by Kenshin as you can see here all the icons are custom made and uh, in the loading screens you know you look a little bit cooler than everybody else except me of course because I have the best profile picture of all the times <laughs> but yeah you can be you, you you can get close I was thinking of going for the uh, the Grandmaster tier supporter on their Patreon. I want to get uh, well. You guys know this. Maybe the chat does. I want to get Tamarja as my uh, as my picture. I think that would be uh, <laughs> <laughs> that be. Uh, real. Wait, you have to you have to explain that. What's Tamarja? Tamarja is, of course, the Blade Master. As we all know, has has a. I'm an orc player. The Blade Master has a pearl necklace similar to Marge uh, Simpson. There's also a Blade Master named Tojara. So I uh, I used my terrible Photoshop skills and I took Marge Simpson's hair and I put it on the Blade Master and I call it <laughs> Tamarja. <laughs> you are such That's a cre good. you are so creative, Carson man. Where do you go with all that creativity? Well, you know, some someone did. Uh, I did get it from someone in the Twitch chat saying that they have the the Marge Simpson pearls, but the name is the name is my own. All right, Tamarja is forever mine. <laughs> And um, I think I'm going to make um, him, her combination. 
my profile picture on War Three Champions. But I'm gonna have to be the Grandmaster tier to do so, and I'm probably going to invest soon enough. I'll break my piggy bank for two things. I'm gonna break my piggy bank for the Thorzane coaching and for the Tamarja on War Three Champions. Those are the two things that I'm that I'm investing in this month, I think. Well, this month coming up at least. Well, you uh, did a wonderful interview with Thorzane yesterday, did you not? Theorycraft interview mm -hmm. episode. I watched it front to back. Super interesting, man. It's so it's always so cool to hear Thorzane talk because it feels like he's he's listening to the question and then he's basically the only person in the world who takes time to think about the answer he mm. will he will be giving and then it's such a smart answer all the freaking time. So jealous of people like Thorzane. He's just amazing. It was a great listen yesterday. Yeah, I I was so surprised because you know I I've met him once and I've talked to him a couple of times. You know, um, he's somebody that that I really really like. I'm a big fan of his play, but I haven't had in depth long conversations with him. And I was surprised just by everything he was saying. It was one of those things. It's like, oh my god, I've I've thought of that before, but I couldn't actually put it into words, and I haven't actually thought of it to the depth that this guy has. And he's just taken so much time to actually think about how to improve at games and like what it actually means to like be good at RTS. And that's why he's such a legend. Um, I was thoroughly impressed by um, by just how smart this guy is. It's pretty crazy. All right, we have Krixa again, not only contributing to the prize pool, not only uh, throwing us a direct donation, but also buying a War 3 Champions t-shirt. Thank you very much. This will, of course, go to the prize pool as well. And one tier one with the tier one the sub. Also very, very fitting. So, uh, yeah, that is the decision then. Happy with the map win on LR and afterwards 15 Sway forfeits. Not the greatest start <laughs> to the tournament, I guess. But the good thing about this is it can only get better from here, can it not? And it will get a lot better from here because uh, oh with boy. that, we get happy in the quarterfinal and we will determine his opponent. And that is going to be the battle of the brothers and that is Mikael versus Thunder an old legend of course a ESWC winner of 2006 in Mikael one of the best undeads in the world facing one of the most improved players of 2021 in his real life brother in Thunder we also get a wonderful human versus undead matchup we throw you into a tiny bit of a break to uh, hydrate a little catch a little breath and then we have three amazing games for you guys we're back in four minutes with the War 3 Champion Season 6 Global Finals <laughs> 